Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome to another top 10 best tweaks video. All the tweaks I show you guys in this video can be found with Insidia for free. And if you guys see any tweaks on my device that I do not cover in this video, I'm sure it's been covered in the previous video. So be sure to check out the link in the description. Also, if you want to find this wallpaper or anything that you might see in this video, uh, be sure to use that link in the description. You can find everything there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's jump into this. So the first tweak I got for you guys brings a bit of functionality to your device. If we hold the power to slide off button, uh, as you guys can see, it brings up that normal slide to power off, but it also uh, allows you to slide to reboot, slide to respring, slide to go into safe mode. And this is called power down. And it's a very, very functional uh, tweak in my opinion, having these options right from the normal slide to power off screen. So if we go ahead and slide to respring our device, as you guys can see, it will respring our device. Now the only bug with this tweak, and it's probably because the iOS 8 jailbreak is so fresh and new that this hasn't been updated for iOS 8, is if you click on cancel, uh, it will cause you to go into safe mode, but all of the slide actions do work properly. Again, that's called power down. Next up is a tweak that really doesn't have any functionality. It just looks really, really cool in my opinion. So if we swipe over here and if we hold on to one of the applications to bring up the delete uh, or close uh, button on the, on the application, as you guys can see, uh, app color close is the name of this tweak. And what it does is it colorizes all of those little buttons to match the application. Now, like I said, there's really no functionality for this. It just looks awesome in my opinion i think that uh, this should be implemented into ios it definitely looks really really good having all of those delete uh, buttons you know match the actual app icon i just think it looks really really nice again this is called app color close next up is a cydia application i think everybody should have on their device and it's called battery life so if we go ahead and open up this application as you can see it will show vital information about the internal battery on your device you can see the battery charge, the capacity, the voltage, the cycles, the temperature, the discharge, uh, discharge current. Also, if you swipe to the right, you will get estimates for runtime, like 3G talk time, 3G browsing, LTE browsing, Wi-Fi browsing, video, audio, and standby. Another cool thing about it is you can select on uh, any of these, and it will give you some information about uh, what you're looking at. So you can actually probably find out, you know, uh, some cool stuff about your battery in your device that you did not know. Again, this application is called Battery Life. Next up is a tweak called Status Modifier. As you guys can see, the time in my status bar uh, is a bit different than yours, I'm sure you noticed. Uh, as you can see, I do have the date, the time, and also the free RAM on my device, uh, which is updated every two seconds I think I have it set at. Uh, you can adjust the format and everything within the settings. You can have it just be the date in the RAM, just the time in the RAM. Uh, there's a lot of different options that come with this really cool tweak. Unfortunately, right now, since the iOS 8 jailbreak is so fresh, and this actually has not officially been updated for iOS 8, I am unable to change it to, to the 24-hour time. Uh, but if you guys are watching this in the future, I'm sure that it's been updated. Again, this is called Status Modifier. So if you guys like the tweak which I just covered called App Color Close, you guys are definitely going to like blurry badges. Uh, as you can see, the badges on my icon have that same kind of concept as App Color Close where it uh, basically colorizes the badges to match the color of the app icon. And it's another, uh, you know, very simple tweak that I just really like the way it looks. As you guys can see, Kick there completely matches the app icon. If we open up this folder, uh, Game Center, it basically kind of combines the colors of the application to come up with a, a uniformed color that matches the app icon. Definitely a very, very cool looking tweak. Again, that's called Blurry Badges. Next up is another very, very popular Cydia tweak. It's called Swipe Selection. So if we open up our notes right here, uh, one thing that's really kind of annoying with iOS is using the stupid magnifying glass to get to that uh, that perfect spot, you know, within some text. Now, this is pretty easy to use within notes, but like when you're on a website or browsing, you know, the web and you're trying to select text there, it can be kind of a pain in the butt. So swipe selection allows you to swipe on your keyboard and it changes where your cursor is within that text, as you guys can see. Another very cool function with swipe selection is you can swipe from the shift button or from the back button or delete button and it will select the text whichever way you swipe. And like I said, you can use the delete button or the shift button depending on which direction you want to highlight within that text. Another very, very, very cool tweak. Again, that's called swipe selection. 
So I've always been kind of jealous that the iPhone 6 can basically rotate the springboard and all of the apps will kind of rotate with it going into landscape mode. Uh, SB Flip allows any device on iOS 8 do this function as well and I really do like it. Again, this is called SB Flip and it allows you to uh, put your uh, home screen or springboard into landscape mode uh, just like the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, definitely a very, very cool tweak. Again, that's called SB Flip. Next up is another very, very awesome free Cydia application, and it's called Bite of Font 2. So I'm sure you guys can tell that the font on my device is different. Uh, this is probably one of the easiest ways to kind of customize or change the way that your device looks overall just by being able to change that text. Now, I do want to mention if you guys are watching this, uh, right when this video comes out, there's an issue with Cydia where you go to install a Cydia application and it actually doesn't install it on your device. Uh, what you got to do is basically install it. You'll see there's no app icon on your springboard. So what you got to do is reboot your device, but make sure that you have the passcode disabled when you do that. But anyways, back to the application. So again, this is called Bitefont. It's been around forever. I'm sure a lot of you know about it. Uh, and like I said, it just allows you to change the font on your device. Uh, you have an advanced mode where you can change the font uh, for different sections here like camera, iBooks, keyboard, and system. So if you wanted your system font different than your keyboard font, you do have that option. You have a basic mode here where you can just select uh, you know, one font to change system wide. The font I'm using is China Cat. And the cool thing about Bita Font 2 is obviously the application is free. And also there is hundreds and hundreds of fonts found within Cydia that are free as well. So if we go to our sources, go to all sources, scroll down here and you will see fonts. So go to the Fs here and you'll see Bita Font 2. These are the fonts that are going to work with it. And as you guys can see, there is a ton of different fonts to choose from that are all free. Uh, definitely a very, very cool tweak. Again, that's called Bita Font 2. Next up is another really, really awesome Cydia tweak, and there's a lot of settings that you can adjust with it. It's called Flurry. So this basically allows you to add and change the blur effects system-wide on your device if you don't like the style of you know the way iOS 8 has it. Now I have this on my dock. Uh, I don't have the greatest wallpaper to demonstrate it, but as you can see when I go into landscape, judging by the wallpaper, it kind of gives it a different effect. Uh, it looks different than stock iOS. Also, if we open up uh, Control Center there, as you guys can see, the blur effect is a lot different than normal. Same as uh, Notification Center. I'm sure you guys can see that. Now, uh, this is definitely a really, really cool uh, tweak because, like I said, it's system-wide. So if we go into Instagram, uh, this might be kind of hard to see, but if you look at the bottom bar there, you can actually see some of the colors through that black bottom bar, which does look really, really awesome. Uh, even the top bar here, as you guys can see, it has that kind of uh, really nice looking blur effect. I guess Twitter is probably uh, another really good one to be able to see that with the bottom bar, as you guys can see right there. I just think that looks so awesome being able to do that. Uh, and like I said, this is system wide. So if we go into photos here, we go to wallpapers, uh, just look at the bars, guys. Look how awesome that looks. Being able to uh, ha have it be more transparent and just adjust the blur. You know, the blurriness of those bars is a really, really cool function. If we go into settings uh, and we scroll down here until we see flurry. So flurry is the tweak. I will leave on a, the link in the description every setting that I have if you guys want to mimic what I have. It took me a, quite a while to actually get it the way I like it. Uh, and again, this tweak is called Flurry. And last but not least is called Mobius. Now this is a really cool tweak, another one that I think should be definitely implemented within iOS itself. Uh, and this allows you to go from the first springboard page to the last, from the last to the first. You're not being stopped like normal, like you know, on the first page, you, you can't go back. You have to literally go all the way to the last page, and then you'll have to go from the last page to the first. This just kind of uh, makes it one big loop, seamless, and it would probably be extremely functional for you guys that have a lot of springboard pages. I only have three, but I could imagine for those of you that might have, you know, five or six springboard pages, uh, this acts as kind of a shortcut, being able to switch back from the first to the last page. Uh, again, this tweak is called Mobius, and you will have to add a source within Cydia to get it. Uh, that source can be found with the link in the description also. So there you go, guys. Those are 10 really, really awesome free Cydia tweaks and applications you guys might want to try out. Again, if you guys want to know any of the tweaks or you need the source or you want my wallpaper or anything else you saw in this video, 
be sure to use the link in the description. Also, if you guys see tweaks or wonder how I got, you know, anything on my device, I'm sure I covered it in a, my previous top 10 tweaks video. So be sure to check that out with that link as well. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out tremendously here at the channel. Also, if you guys uh, want to you can follow me on Twitter Facebook and Instagram all the links are in the description and if you guys want to see more iOS 8 tweaks and applications and coverage don't forget to click that subscribe button this has been Jeremy and I'll catch you guys in the next one later